Jesus, Elia, what the hell? Sorry, I didn't realize you were so jumpy. We're in the haunted house from hell and you jump up behind me like a jack in the box? Thought you didn't believe this place was haunted. I don't. That doesn't mean I'm not a little on edge when I'm here by myself. And don't tell Casey that. Where is Casey anyway? She wanted to have a look around the area. I think she needed a break. Things are really getting to her. She's been saying things like, well, you've heard her. Okay. So do you think this place is haunted? What does it matter what I think? That's what you guys are here to find out, right? It matters because Casey's going to ask you and I want to know what you're going to say. Okay, what do you want me to say? Jesus Christ, why are you so evasive? I'm not trying to be. What answer would make you happy? What do you really believe? I don't think you really care what I believe. No, I don't. I think that you just need somebody convincing enough to sell your story on your website. I do care about the truth. I'm not here to con anybody. If we don't find anything, I will be the first person to say that it was a hoax. Okay, and what if we do find something? Then I'll be just as quick to say I was wrong. Right. Clearly your cynicism and condescension just like blinded me to your enthusiasm for the truth. <laughs> well, that's judgmental coming from somebody who isn't the poster child for a radiant disposition. Okay. Look, I'm just here out of absolute necessity, all right? I hate this goddamn house, and sometimes I think it was a mistake even coming here, but... Casey's very persuasive. Yeah. So... She certainly is persistent. Girl could talk the devil into giving back a soul. Look, I don't really like you, and yeah, obviously you think the same thing, so... Let's just get out of here as quickly as possible, okay? Just tell me what I can do. Will it help if I agree with you more? Should I just like downplay every creepy thing that happens? No, really, please, just tell me so we can get the hell out of here. Yeah, Jack. Casey. What do you want her to say? Uh, we were just talking about everything. Oh yeah, I heard. Okay, I know this looks really bad and you're probably really angry, That's but- That's fairly accurate. What are you even doing here, Jack, if you don't want to know the truth? Casey, I do care about the truth. But just because I don't think it's the supernatural mystery that you're hoping for, doesn't mean I don't want to find out. Have terrible things happened here? Sure. Is this a big old creepy house? Yes, I will admit to that. But are the ghosts of the past lurking in the shadows? I haven't seen anything to convince me. And that's why I brought you. You're not exactly unpredictable, Jack. You challenge me. You're my scully. You're the one who doesn't blindly follow your heart on things. You apply logic. I know you think I'm overly invested in the Grantham house because of my connection, but I'm not wrong, okay? Strange things do keep happening here. I'm gonna leave you two alone. Don't even think about it. You know, I don't even know you, but I don't understand you. I know you know. <laughs> don't ask me how, but I know you do. You feel it too. I don't know what I feel. Yeah, I don't agree. You heard what I heard and you reacted. But now you're pretending like it didn't even happen. Why are you denying this? Like I was explaining to your friend here, I'm just here for the cash. <laughs> that's, that's crap. I know you want to know. <clears throat> Know what? Well, our friend here hasn't exactly been completely honest with us. When I was out clearing my head, there was this guy that pulled over to see if I was okay. He was full of stories about the Grantham house. And there's one in particular, happened 23 years ago. A woman died here. A woman whose name is Joanne Henderson. Joanne Henderson was your mom, wasn't she? 